what is going on? I know what's going on. It's, it's the season. Yes, I decided to wear a hat just for a little while here. We'll see, it'll fall off at some point, I'm sure. Yes, 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 yes. How are you doing? Are you celebrating? And it doesn't matter what you celebrate. You can celebrate life every day. You can celebrate winter solstice and Christmas and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and just everything. And, and this time of the year, it's about restarting or recommitting or setting new goals and reaching those. No matter the circumstances, the idea is that you're consistent to your commitment to taking loving, good care of yourself. So, here we are for a lower body workout. Mm -hmm. Going to work on the strength of those quads and your glutes. Very important. Some people say I'm obsessed with the glutes, and in a way I am because as I research the impacts of aging on the physical body, and the, the aches and pains and the trouble people have, like getting up out of chairs or their knees being cranky, it all pointed to the glute muscles, to the glutes not being as strong as they need to be. So, we're going to focus on glutes today and your whole leg power, and we're going to do it both at, for beginners and seniors, and of course off cues, so if it seems too easy, you can make it harder. Okay, but let's go ahead and start with the upper body the shoulder therapy, I want to make sure that we always tend to the health of these shoulders and think about our posture because even when you're working out your lower body, you want good posture. I'm so excited for you being here. Thank you so much for joining me for a workout co video 116. That's right, I'm Cam Parker, your online personal trainer. I am certified over and over again and as a personal trainer, and I have over three decades of experience. Right, Michelle? Yes, I do. That's right. All right, so we're right here. We're going to have two cans of whatever canned goods you want. If you have weights at home, please don't go heavier, you, no matter who you are, no matter how tall or strong you are, just use three pounds. Hey, Tamara, what's up? Okay, let's do this. All right, we are doing lower body, but I want to get this shoulder there because a lot of us are working on computers right now or odd job in or just you know we're just using our body a lot we're out there hustling let's do this so there are about 10 presses up top these weigh about one pound again if you have house weights at your home at your house don't go over three pounds because we're doing a lot of warm-up reps here so we do 10 behind the head barbara what's going on how's it up on the mountain all right i'm wearing my santa hat it will fall off guaranteed I'm in a great mood. I hope you are too. We might have a white Christmas this year. That's going to be fun. So we're doing this little bicep curl with a twist at the top. Bicep curl. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, let's do this. You right? Let's, let's, you know, take care of your body. This is, this is what you want to do. That's a priority. The greatest gift that you can give your loved ones is the gift of self-care. All right, now we're doing this pour out movement right here where we alternate it that is a firm belief of mine a lot of people neglect their health for other things jobs other people and your health is your greatest wealth i know it sounds like a meme but it's true all right here we go mm -hmm. just pouring it out pouring it out getting our mind and our body warmed up ready to go okay so now we take that same movement but straighten the arms a little more no, it's not here now it's out here all right good excellent excellent all right and of course i'm kind of rushing but you want to keep that quality of movement don't be in a hurry during this workout or any workout for that matter yes sometimes we focus on speed but that's like happy feet it's not you know trying to rush around throughout your day really slow down and breathe and think about what you're up to okay so now we're going to pour out all the obstacles to slowing down and enjoying the day right enjoying our life as a whole by slowing down and paying attention to the details right that was two we're gonna do about 10 of these oh look at that pour out all the obstacles you feeling awesome because you are awesome yes yeah. there you go do it again Big arm sweep, 
And it's okay if your body says, you know, I don't like coming way up here like this. Like maybe your shoulders don't have that range of motion. So you're just going to go to where your range of motion is. And over time, you might notice that you get more, you get increased range of motion. Excellent. One more time. All of the obstacles, do you have a great workout? Yay! Good. And then the last movement, this rotator cuff movement, and you just roll it forward like that. All right. Good. Excellent. Excellent. A few more. Now, I do this all the time, almost every day of the week, and it still burns. What? It does. One more. Woo! Okay. All right. Take those off. Roll them out. All right, we're doing lower body, so I'm jogging in place. Jogging in place. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Freestyling a little bit. Everybody feeling good? Make sure you tell me in the comments your favorite holiday meal, or do you have a tradition? Like, um, we did puzzles a long time. We would always have puzzles, and then we got toddlers and uh, bigger puzzles now, not really jigsaw puzzles. Right? No fun when you lose a piece of a jigsaw puzzle. And we have a stocking tradition. You know, stockings get filled. And uh, we have a game with how we open everything. And oh, one of our fun, I like, a family tradition is we always give a gift of food. Like, like peanut butter or hot sauce. <laughs> Everybody gets something unusual or spices. You know, some unusual spice. You know, that you might not normally splurge on or something. Yeah, so let me know what you do for fun. Dun, dun, dun. We're still jogging in place. Okay, let's march. March. Make sure for the co-video workouts you have your equipment. You could have regular dumbbells and medicine balls and mats and things, but I've designed these workouts. All you need is two gallons of water and two cans of canned goods and a strong sturdy chair. And you need a floor and occasionally a wall. Today, <laughs> you need the floor and a mat or your carpet. Whatever works. And make sure that you have a little bit of a clear space where you're not going to run into cats or dogs or people or things like that. Or furniture. Furniture hurts. All right. We're going to step back and just swing the leg forward. Step back. Swing. Make sure your arms are involved. Yes. Keep going. Just swing it, and notice when I step back, I'm not leaning forward. That's, that's a hard habit to break. I keep trying to help people with that. I step back, I'm in a power stance. I'm upright, my forward knee is bent forward. Yes, it's not, it's not pulled backwards. Okay, other leg, all right, and swinging, swinging. I got my hand mitts on today. Hand net socks. I call them hugs for the feet. Hmm. Oh, I've got to change the size for my hand here. Oh. Doing good. Doing good. Swing. Step back and swing that leg. Think about your posture. Upright posture. Yes. Oh yeah. Do another one. Good. Now just a tiny air squat. Not too deep because we're still we're feeling out how those hips and how our knees feel. I had a great surprise this morning. When we first moved to this home, there was a um, pair of geese, and they had, the next year, they had four uh, goslings, and they haven't been here all year, and that, but actually it's been a couple years, it seems like, and I have geese out there this morning, quite a few. So I don't know if it's the family. We called them the Georgette family. It was George, Georgette, George Jr., you know, Georgia, because um, they all look the same as far as, you know, but they, if you really pay attention, you can tell them, you can tell who the male and who the mom is and things like that. So they're here this morning. The geese are here. Okay. They must be on their way south. Okay. Everybody feel good. We go going to the chair. And then what I want you to pay attention to is doing it in the chair or on the floor because I just I went because I specialize in beginners and seniors I don't want you to feel like you have to go to the floor because that's very uncomfortable for some folks so the first thing is we're going to target 
our quad, our um, hip flexor. And I'm gonna show you two versions. This is the chair. And I'm gonna relax one leg and pick the other leg up from horizontal up like this, okay? However, if you can, if the floor is not a problem, get to the floor. This is called a quad set and we're gonna do it from the floor. So I'm gonna stay in the chair so I can demo for people who might not feel comfortable getting to the floor. All right, we're gonna do 20 reps. It's called a quad set. I'm on the edge of my chair holding on or I'm on the floor, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, try not to go too low, six, seven, pretend the floor is right there, eight, oh yeah, nine, this works, 10, 11, 12, keep that knee straight, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, I know it's tough, 20. Oh, it's tough for me too. I feel it right in the hip and some people may feel it right on the quad and make sure you keep that knee locked. It's one of the few times we lock the knee. All right, other leg, you may be on the floor locking that leg out, flexing the foot really hard, all right? It's not relaxed, it's flexed hard. All right, I'm holding it horizontal, going up, ready, go, one. Two, see my knee wanted to bend right away. Three, don't let it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Oh, yes. Okay. Woo. Now we're doing the opposite of that. That is hip flexion. Now we're going to do hip extension. I'm sure you want to know all the technical terms. Here's your choices. You're on the chair and you put one leg back and you're going to really tighten this glute, right? And do it that way. The other way that I want people to consider if getting on the ground's not a problem right or it's just a little challenge is your legs up you're going to push the quads up do you see that it's called a single glute lift right and you're going to push really hard straight up all right i'm going to adjust my camera just a little i'm so glad you're here thank you for working out with me all right so pick i'm going to go with the chair if you're on the ground just roll be on your back and you're put one leg in the air and we're doing a glute lift ready i'm starting here and go one two we're doing 15 three four five six concentrate seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen make sure your shoulders aren't in your ears fourteen 15, good. Do this movement with the glute. Keep your hips flat. Don't rock your body side to side. <coughs> okay, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on the toe of my standing leg. That's seven, eight, nine. Relax your shoulders. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, very good. Okay, still with the chair or in table on the floor. So this is table on the chair. This is table on the floor, right? So from table, we're gonna do opposites. So I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm gonna raise my right hand, left leg. And I'm not going to tip my hips from side to side. I'm going to pretend I got a glass of high protein, good for you, eggnog right on the base of my spine. I don't want to spill that beverage. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, don't be in a hurry, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, we're going to twenty, fifteen, sixteen, raise that arm up, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20, good. Always make that last rep count. Okay, the next exercise is also from table. So you can stay in table on the ground. Uh, this is one exercise I actually prefer the chair because it's actually harder from the chair. Okay, so I'm on the balls of my feet and what I'm gonna do is a fire hydrant or a side, a bent over, right? I'm bent into table, side leg lift. And again, this is gonna be 15 reps. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, don't rush, lift and lower, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more. 15. Other side. Remember to keep your core activated. Don't relax your belly. One, two, good posture. Three, meaning your shoulders are out of your ears. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You may feel this in the leg that's not moving. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, one more, 15, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna do active recovery. So that means we are taking a break, not really, from uh, the muscles we were just working out. And we're gonna do that by doing boat pose or just balancing on your butt. Or if you're, you know, you wanna do a strict boat pose, that's fine. This is me on the chair doing it. If you've been working on the ground, you just balance on your butt with the sun in your eyes. Thinking about how awesome you are. So we're, it's called an active recovery because we're still, we're not just milling about smartly. Though occasionally that's what you gotta do. Oh yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Just hanging out, balancing on my butt. Yep, yep. 10 more seconds. Holding it, holding it, and relax. Okay, you feeling warm? I'm feeling warm. Okay, this is going over here. Thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna do all of that again. So, the chair or the mat. The first thing is quad set. So I'm gonna come back to the chair. I'll do the mat on the um, third round because I wanna make sure everyone doesn't go, oh, well, I can't get on the ground, so I'm not gonna do the workout. No, excuses don't get results. Let's do this, come on. All right, so you're either sit, seated on the ground or you're seated in your chair. Your leg is horizontal, and we're gonna raise it up, and we're going to 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is tough. Seven, concentrate. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Relax those shoulders. 12. 13, but they can help. 14, come on, 15, keep that knee locked. 16, 17, yes, it's hard. 18, even for me. 19, one more. 20, yeah. It's a simple therapeutic exercise for the knee and hip that if you don't do it once in a while, like every other day or every third day, it's hard to do when you get back to it, right? And that's what we're doing today is getting back to it. It's part of my Love Your Knees program. All right, other leg straight parallel to the floor or you're on the floor do not touch the floor if you're seated on the floor right now when you come down with your leg don't touch the floor all right ready go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, stay focused, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. Always make the last, the last rep count. That is hip extension or hip, uh, no, hip flexion because we're flexing the hip while I'm, I'm getting my leg closer to my body. Now we're going to do extension. So if you're on the floor, it looks like this. You have one leg up and you're gonna push as hard as you can. Push your body up off the ground, right? Your butt into the air. Using the chair, which is on the stick to the chair till the third round. So I'm on the balls of my feet. I put one leg up and here we're gonna raise it up and really squeeze the glute. 15 reps, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze that glute, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, that was a bonus. Okay, other leg. It was 15 reps. Maybe I just got into counting. What can I say? Ready, go. One, other leg. Two, three. Flex that foot, four, keep that leg straight, five, six, seven, eight, push hard from the ground if you're on the ground, nine, ten, eleven, lift that glute, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, good. All right, now from the chair or on the ground, it's opposites or pointer dogs is something else. People call it, we're lifting right arm, left leg, and then switching. Ready, and go. This is to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't be in a hurry. Quality of movement. Seven, always think about quality of movement. Eight, nine, 10, 11, yes, 12, looking good, 13, this is very good for your posture, 14, 15, and your balance, 16, 17, and your butt, 18, just a full benefit package here, 19, one more, and 20, good, okay, we're staying in table, with the chair, okay? This chair, great piece of fitness equipment. All right, take a deep breath. This is the side leg lift from the bent position or from table. And I'm on my balls of my feet and I'm lifting to the side 15 times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Don't be in a hurry. Six, seven, the knees are soft. Eight, the feet are parallel. Nine, or if you're on your knees, the knees are parallel. 10, 11, lead with the knees. 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. Make sure if you're in table, you have a, a natural arch, you're not rounded up like that, that's bad. You gotta have that natural arch Shoulders out of your ears. Other side, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, you got this. 10, stay focused. 11, put the weight in your standing leg. If you're standing, 12, 13, 14, yes, 15, control the leg on the last rep. All right, now we're doing active recovery, which is balancing on your butt, also known as boat pose. All right, so our V pose, V for victory. I vote our victory over anything that's standing in the way of you being the best version of yourself. That's all I'm asking for is that you do your best at being your best, and I'm here to help. All right, awesome! Happy holidays, woo! 
Bounced on my butt. This is what they meant when they said you need more balance in your life. Yeah. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. So if you've been using the chair, stick with the chair. Um, I'm going to go to the floor so people who are using the floor or someone on the chair is going to follow me to the floor and make sure you are doing it the form correctly from there. Okay, so it's your choice, chair or floor. Just do it well, quality of movement. Okay, so I'm on the floor, legs are out straight, and I'm being sh struck by the sun. <laughs> you hear the hallelujah chorus going on? Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, I'm going to move over here a little bit just so it's not so bright. Okay, so one leg's relaxed, and I'm going to pick up my right foot and doing that quad set. Ready and go. One, two, we're going for 20. Three, keep that knee locked. Four, and I have to focus on relaxing my shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, focus. 11, 12, 13, 14, you got this. 15, I know it's not easy. Come on, 16, it's a workout. Come on. 17, 18, 19, one more. 20. Yes. Oh my goodness. Now don't just, you know, quality of movement on the last rep. Don't just let your foot fall to the ground and bump your heel just like I did. Okay. All right. Switching on the chair, switching on the floor. Ready, go. One, two, Three, keep that leg locked. Four, foot flexed. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Nine, we got this. Keep that knee locked. Ten, it wants to soften. Don't let it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep going. Fifteen, suffer. Sixteen, the sweet suffering of success. Seventeen, eighteen. 19, one more, and 20. Oh, that works, I feel that. Okay, so on the chair, you put your hands in the chair, getting ready to do that butt kick, butt lift. Here on the ground, we've got one leg up, and we're gonna push as hard as we can up, lifting our glutes 15 times, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe in case you were wondering, eleven, you can add weight. Twelve, no thank you. Thirteen, fourteen, one more. Fifteen, excellent. Other side, ready, switch legs with the chair, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Don't let your shoulders, six, off the ground. Keep them down, seven. You can even press them down, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Push hard, 13, you can do it, 14, and 15. Excellent. All right, I'm in table on the mat or table using the chair. I have a natural arch, my shoulders are out of my ears, and I like to spread my fingers out and pay attention to my hands. Okay, make sure you're not gonna kick anything, and here we go. One, these are the pointer dogs. Two, go in the 20. Three, four, five, think quality of movement. Six, seven, Eight, nine, if you feel this in your knees, like they're sensitive, 10, you can always put a towel or more cushion under your knees. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're going to 20, 16, 17, 18, 
19 and 20. Very good. Okay, I'm in table, still on the ground or table on the chair. And I'm going to lift, do the fire hydrant, marking my territory, like the big dog on the block. Ready, go. Lift it. One. Nice and smooth. Two. Three. Four. Lead with the knee, not the foot. Five. Six. Keep your arms straight. Seven, but not locked. I know it's a lot to think about. Eight. Nine. You can do it. Ten. 11, and you can be doing this from the chair, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, good, other side, one, make your wrists bother you, two, put the weight back on your legs, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Keep going. You're looking good. Come on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more. Fifteen. Always make the last rep count. Don't just throw it out there. All right. So I'm on my butt. I'm going to do boat pose. Here we go. Balance on my butt. This is a modified boat pose because my knees are bent. A full boat pose is straight legs, but you have to be able to maintain this, like almost like a crunch position, shoulders out of your ears, right? And really just focus on continuing to breathe and hold your core tight. You have five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job, rock and roll. That was our first round. We're done with that. The way this workout is designed, I think we're going to have two rounds a day. We'll see. I might throw in some stuff at the end to make sure we get our session full. And right now is a good time to get water and to think about, well, why am I doing what I'm doing? Because I'm, I'm focused on creating strong knees for people, strong hips for people, stronger. Stronger knees, strengthen the knees, strengthen ultimately your hips translate to knee health, to ankle health, and to your feet being healthier as well. And that works in the reverse too. When you take care of your feet, you take care of your ankles, which helps take care of your knees, which helps take care of your hips. It's all connected, just like all of us, all over the world. And if I didn't say it before, remember if you have sharp pain, knife stabbing pain, please stop what you're doing. Seek the advice of a licensed healthcare professional. I also encourage you to stop if you feel tingling or buzzing. Um, if you adjust your position and it goes away, but if it doesn't, please stop and, and get a hold of me and let me try to help you with what's going on there. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Are you ready? You ready for what's next? I hope so. All right, strong legs. That's what's next in your life. Stronger legs. That's right. Okay, so what we're going to do is something called driving. The first round, no weight. And I think what I'm going to do is change my pad my potting for the floor right my mat and um, it's called driving we've done it before we do it a little bit in the warm-up but we do a leg swing so this time I step back into a back lunge technically yes if you're a beginner or senior you might just step back but even if you're not going to come down into a lunge Make sure that leading knee and the back knee are bent, that they're soft, and the leading knee is bent to the forward direction. A lot of people get back into their knee. I've really been working hard to stop people from doing that. Okay, so we step back. The depth of this position will be based on your fitness level. And then, so I'm down into a lunge, and I drive up, okay? So we're going to go 10 drives with the left leg. We're not going to switch to the right, so pay attention to what I do next, okay? Stepping back, here we go, 10 drives. One, we're touching back. Two, involve the arms. Three, four, make the work happen on the front leg. Five, not the back leg. Six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. So my left leg was doing the work. I'm gonna place the chair on the mat so it can't slide. Keeping my left leg forward, I'm gonna put my right foot on the chair. This is called a balanced lunge. Some of you, this is all you're gonna do. You're just gonna balance on this leg like this. However, if you can bend that knee, the deeper you go, represents your higher fitness level, but don't do it if you get discomfort in that knee. Okay, here we go, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay with me, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Good burn by the end there. Okay, now we got to do the other leg. I'm going to reposition just a little bit. Okay, put my chair over here. All right, so my right leg's forward because I just did my left leg. I'm stepping back into a lunge and driving up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh yeah, eight, concentrate, nine, one more, ten, perfect. Now just have that chair right there. I'm going to put the driving leg which was my left leg back. My right leg, which I'm working, is forward. Okay, here we go, balance lunges. One, two, you might just be holding the position, not actually repping it. Three, four, keep your core tight. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, one more, ten, perfect, okay, good, 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 all right, so now what we're doing is in and out squats, both legs together, so you can step it or jump it, so I'm going to do a wide squat, step in, narrow squat, step out, like this, okay, or you're jumping, so you're ready to, I'm going to jump, please step it if that's what's appropriate for you. Are you ready? So I have my feet together and I'm gonna squat. Okay, here we go. That's one, two, three, we're going to 10, four, five, six, land like ninja, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good. So let's talk about jumping a little bit while we just kind of jog in place and recovery. Ooh, yeah, I felt that. So here's the thing. A lot of people don't jump, so that's okay. If you haven't jumped, you're not sure. Let me show you the difference. Some people jump and then they land like they have stiff legs. You want to think like a spring. So you do a light landing like a cat or ninja, nice and soft, very important. But it's totally okay if jumping's not for you and just remember to step it, okay? All right, so we're driving. Now what I'm gonna do is add a weight. Eight pounds, that's what a gallon of water weighs. If you're a beginner or senior and you really haven't done a lot of workouts with me, I, you might not wanna add any weight. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the weight on the side of the leg that I'm working. So I'm gonna hold it against my left leg because I'm gonna work out my left leg first and I'm stepping back with my right. So I'm just gonna relax this arm and move my right arm. Okay, here we go. Driving. One, two, three, four. This makes me tighten my core more. Four by having this little bit of weight. Five, six, get that knee up. Seven, and eight. Perfect. So I'm going to take that driving leg, put it back on the chair, keeping the weight against the leg I'm working, carefully put it on the chair. This is the balanced position. Now I'm gonna squat on this one leg. Ready, go. One, or some people call it a lunge. Two, three, some people call this the Bulgarian one-legged balance squat. That's a long name. 
Let's call that three, four, five, six, seven, excellent, eight, nine, one more, ten. Perfect. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I can prove it mathematically. Okay, so we're switching sides. I'm going to work my right leg now. Okay, I'm stepping back into that lunge position. I may just be t touching back, depending on me, you know, what my fitness level is, right? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Step back and drive. One, two, tighten your core. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh yeah, nine. Make that front leg do the work. Don't bounce off the back leg. Nine, one more, and ten. Okay, so now that right uh, left leg that I was driving goes back on the chair. I'm working my right leg. I'm relaxing the weight. I'm not curling the weight or doing anything with it. Ready and go. One, two, keep your chest up. Three, keep breathing. Four, keep breathing no matter what. Five, six, seven, make that front leg do all the work. Eight, attempt to relax this back leg. Nine, and 10. Very good. Very good. Okay. I'm going to get a quick sip of water and then we're going to do those in and out squats. Mm. I don't know about you, but here in the mountains of Western North Carolina, it's pretty cold. Actually, it will get warmer here, but uh, the heat, of course, is running and it dries things out. So make sure in the winter, you don't, sometimes you don't think about it, you need almost more water than in the summer, depending on what you're up to. Okay, so I'm going to start with a narrow squat. We're going to do 10 in and out squats, either stepping or jumping. You got this. Okay, here we go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, strong posture, seven, chest up, eight, nine, and 10. Yay! Uh, make sure you land soft on that last one, Cam. Okay. Good job, good job. All right, we're jogging in place. Jogging in place. Or marching in place. I'm glad everybody's doing well. I'm glad you're having a good day. How do I know you're gonna have a good day? Because you started it with a workout. That's right, two to three a week, every week. Don't take a vacation from your health. Mm, embrace it. This, I think I would call this dance marching. Dance marching, mm, mm, dance marching. Uh, uh, Y'all mean the, you remember the exercise, prancer dancing? You know, yeah, prancer. And there's lots of like groove dancing for cardio. Groove dance, ah, you gotta do cardio. I'm not checking off the cardio box. It might feel like it. I'm checking off the strength training box, two to three sessions a week. Cardio box is 20 to 60 minutes, depending on your goals, at least four to five to six times a week. That needs to be, you know, you might need to, if you don't know what to do, do at least 20 minutes of cardio, four days a week. If you have a physique goal, 30 minutes, at least five days a week right and that's just really 30 minutes five days a week is considered basic uh, basic for overall really good health not just surviving okay i'm gonna grab my weight we're going back to the driving and just pick a leg it doesn't really matter which one you start with i'm going to train my left leg first and we're driving up 10 times upright posture ready and go one, two, yes, three, four, five, six. It's okay to just tap back, seven versus lunging, eight, but make that front leg do the work, nine, ten. 
Now I'm going to take the leg I was just driving, put it back on the chair carefully. I always say carefully because I had somebody miss the chair and hit the floor and hurt themselves. And that's no fun. That's not what I want. Okay. So I was working the left leg. It's forward. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the works in the front leg, nine, even if you're standing there balancing and not repping, and ten. Perfect. Okay, other leg. So now I'm going to work my right leg so the weight is next to my right leg. You got this. Say those three magic words. Take a deep breath. I am strong. Yes, you are. And I am too. Ready, go. Step back. One. Into that lunge. Backward lunge. Two. Three. Driving up. Four. Make sure you move in with that arm without the weight. Five. Six. Or both arms if you're not using a weight. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more. Ten. Good. I'm going to take that leg I was driving with, my left leg. Get good spacing. Remember, this might be all you're doing is just balancing with a soft knee. But I am repping, and those who can will. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Don't use that back leg. Try to relax it. Five. Keep your core tight. Six. This is it right here. Seven. We can do this. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Take a deep breath. We're going to do those in and out squats. Remember, you can step them. You do not have to jump. All right. So I would just step out, step in. Okay, here we go. We're going to jump if we can. If we can't, no problem. We're stepping, concentrating. Ten reps. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Bravo. Bravo. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, we're just about at the end of the time, and all I want to add is some calf raises and standing uh, side leg lifts. We're just going to do two rounds without a break. Whoo, that felt good. Okay, so I'm, I'm on the balls of my feet, and I have my chair here for stability, and I'm just going to raise up on my toes. So let's see if I can back up so you can see that. Just raise up on my toes. Okay, here we go. Let's go to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your legs. Seven, eight. You can switch to singles. Nine, ten, eleven. I don't need to. I'm burning. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I got hikers out there. 15, they might have to do this single. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And for fun, that side leg raise, let's do happy jacks because that does the job. 20 of those. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. Happy five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, yeah, 12. 13, you can add some goofy in there. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, you get having the chair nearby if you need it. Tighten your glutes. Either do 10 on each side or 20 together. Ready, go. One, just calf raises. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, really get up on those tippy toes. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, yeah, I feel that. 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Squeeze everything, okay? 20 happy jacks and we are done with this workout. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. If you add goofy, that just means jump a little bit. Five, six, or seven, or just have a goofy smile on your face. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Bam, boom, boom, boom. You did it. Bravo, bravo, good on ya, good on ya, way to go, we got this, yes, 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 you did it, so proud of you, yes, I am holding a workout, yes, on Saturday morning live, the recordings are available 24-7 on the YouTube channel, Cam Parker, you have to search for Cam Parker, personal trainer on YouTube, yes, awesome, okay, so, we gotta cool down, right? All right, so cool down. Let's just do a little, a slow march, just a little bit. Get the heart rate down. Get my hyperactivity down. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes. Good, good. Now our legs are wide. We're gonna come down to the floor, all right? Or if you're, you can sit in a chair and just lean between the legs. And just relax your torso and your head. And I always feel that in my lower back in a good way. Woo, that feels good. Mm. All right, now we're gonna turn to one leg, right? Same positioning, but you'll feel that a little more in your hamstring. Going to the other leg, gently, carefully. And again, if you're seated, you would want your legs straight and pretty much doing the same thing, but you're supported by the chair. <sighs> All right, now, using your core, stand back up, good. And I have my chair, and what I'm gonna do is touch it so that I can stretch my quad. And some people can do just a standing stretch, right? Without, they can actually do it more like a yoga style like this. But some people, so you can focus on the stretch, you need to touch the chair. And you can see here, I hope, that I'm stretching my quadricep by holding my foot behind me. If you're really struggling with the stretch, uh, I suggest you do some YouTube research on how to increase the flexibility of your quads. There's a couple guys out there, they're physical therapists, they're called, they call themselves the, the greatest physical therapists online or something like that, but they're actually really good. All right, and now we're gonna switch the leg. So you can see the way I get into this stretch is I hold my chair, touch it, and I lean forward and get my foot into my hand and then slowly stand up straight. And then if I can do this, I push my knee back. So I increase the stretch. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. We I did that workout. Yes, we did. Such, I really like that one. The glutes, your gluteus maximus, gluteus minimus, all the, your hip rotators, internal, external rotators, so important to your knee health. So we have to work around cranky knees to get your muscles stronger to help maybe mitigate or get rid of the crankiness, right? No scroogey knees. All right, good job. Speaking of knees, let's put our hands on our knees and just roll them around. Don't worry if you feel some Rice Krispies, that's okay. All right, roll them around, roll them around. A few times in one direction, then the other direction. This is just helping with lubrication and tension. All right, and then put our hands on our hips and roll those around, all right? Just roll them around. Just kind of integrating the workout right now. Breathe in deep. Then the other direction. Excellent. Excellent. All right, empty coat sleeves just to kind of relax for a second. You did that. You worked out. You are awesome. Yes, you are. You're very awesome. You are. Very awesome is a little redundant. <laughs> 
You are full of awesomeness. You are a wonderful being of awesomeness. There you go. I'll just get over the top now. But it's true. It's absolutely true. I can prove it to you. If you want me to prove it to you, you just, you just give me a PM. Give me a private message. I'll prove it. <laughs> all right. might take me a while, but I'll prove it. Okay. Take me about four hours. All right. Are you doing all right? I think you are. I want you to have a beautiful day and have a great, great holiday. Whatever holiday uh, you're celebrating, celebrate yourself, celebrate your family, celebrate everything. There's so much to be grateful for. Focus on that. And I can't wait to see you um, Saturday morning. Merry Christmas to everyone. And uh, happy Hanukkah. I know Hanukkah's, I think, may have just finished. Um, Kwanzaa's going on. So just, just really find, I, I tell people, carve your happiness out of chaos because life is... Life is always tough, and it's a little more tough this year. And I hope I've been a blessing and a help to you. So let's breathe together. I love you. Let's love ourselves. Love the world. That's the message. That's what it's all about. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> okay, you did it. Let's do it again. Here we go. <sighs> One more time. Ah. <sighs> That felt good. Thank you so much for your love. I truly do love you, and I'll see you in a few days.